Hey Ribbits, it's Trixie and today is Christmas! Yay! Well, at least in Germany it is, which directly leads me to the content of this video. How do Germans celebrate Christmas? Of course, again, I can only talk about my own experiences and I think my parents and I used to celebrate Christmas in a little bit of a traditional old-fashioned way, but at least it's an original German opinion on Christmas and you get an insight in our culture. For us, the whole December is like the Christmas month. Some of us, for example, have an advent calendar. An advent calendar where you get a gift or a little piece of chocolate every day of the month. A kind of cute tradition mercilessly abused by companies, merchandise and advertisement. The Star Wars advent calendar! The Miley Cyrus advent calendar! The Kim Kardashian pube hair advent calendar! The Christmas markets open, we buy and decorate Christmas trees and of course there are many Christmas songs on the radio, like for example O du Fröhliche or Last Christmas. <coughs> the four Sundays before Christmas are celebrated as the first, second, third and fourth advent. Many Germans have an Adventskranz at home, for example on the window board, the dining table or hanging from the ceiling. Pine tree branches in the shape of a ring with four candles on it. Every Advent one more candle is lit. So on the first Advent it would be one candle, in the second Advent would be two candles at a time and so on and so on. And then there's the 6th of December, a day we call Nikolaus. It is named after Saint Nikolaus, who lived in Petra, which would nowadays be a part of Turkey. He was the son of a rich family, but his parents died really young, leaving him an orphan with a lot of money. But Nikolaus didn't care about the money. Already as a child he had a heart for the poor. And one day he read a story about a deceased poor man being taken to heaven by an angel, while a rich man died and no angel came for him. This was when Nikolaus understood that money doesn't make a good person. He decided to give everything away that he had. His fancy clothes, his jewelry, his money, he gave it to the poor people and decided to live a humble life. He later came in touch with the Bible, reading about Jesus who said, give everything that you own to the poor, making him a Christian preacher and after a long painful pilgrimage, bishop of his hometown. But many of us don't really know that and to be honest I also googled the story before I made this video because I wasn't sure about the details. Adults don't really care about this day anyways. And for children it's just a day where they find sweets in the boots that they put in front of the door the day before. I understand that the religious background of Christmas kinda appeals a little bit boring and dry to children, but the story of a rich man giving to the poor does actually seem like a story worth sharing to me. In Germany Christmas itself is celebrated in the evening of the 24th of December. It's a celebration day for the birth of Jesus Christ, so it has a religious meaning. At least that was the origin of it, before it was commercialized making it this we gift each other stuff, eat like there is no tomorrow and sit under a pine tree decorated with colorful balls and glitter kind of thing. I'm not directly criticizing this, but Christmas doesn't equal Christmas. There are different ways to celebrate this event. For some Germans it's a matter of religion and Christianity, for others it's a time to sit down and question yourself, to gather your beloved ones and for others it's simply like I hope this Christmas I'm gonna get that fucking PS4 and not ugly socks again. Family and friends come together and again it's a matter of perspective whether or not this is enjoyable. Germans celebrating Christmas the traditional way, my family included, may go to the church in the late afternoon or evening. It's always funny to see the church filling up with people to then be completely empty again the whole following year. Sometimes in the church there's a Krippenspiel where children replay the birth of Jesus. You know, with Maria being pregnant and they find shelter in the barn. It is always really cute to see and of course many songs are sung and the preacher tells you about how to be a good person and what happened during the last year. After the church Christmas dinner takes place and the traditional German food would be goose with dumplings and rotkraut for example, but that's more or less just a cliche. In fact many Germans eat completely different things as well. The only rule is it has to be delicious and special. Full and satisfied it is now time for the Bescherung. For adults that's the time where the gifts are exchanged. They waited under the Christmas tree for the whole month to now be opened. For kids it looks a little bit differently. Many German kids are told that the Weihnachtsmann is gonna come from the North Pole with a really big bag of gifts and he will have them recite a poem in order to receive them. Only in case there are nice kids of course, otherwise they will be threatened to get a birching and no gifts at all. That's kind of cruel, right? I was also told the story of the Weihnachtsmann and of course I believed in him. Him visiting me on Christmas was the best thing ever. But I was also a little bit frightened every time since he was like this big man with the 
long white beard and I just looked at him like really respectfully. Here's a picture of little me staring at my grandfather dressed as the Weihnachtsmann. And of course, I was always a nice child, so I received all of my gifts. In Germany, the 24th of December is called Heiligabend and the two days following up are the erste Weihnachtsfeiertag and der zweite Weihnachtsfeiertag. So like the two Christmas celebration days. These two days are not so special anymore in the sense that we don't celebrate anything anymore. But still, on Christmas, the first Weihnachtsfeiertag and the second Weihnachtsfeiertag, all the shops are closed with exceptions and yeah, you are just doomed to spend time with your family and thinking about becoming a better person. I'm pretty sure I missed some facts about the German Christmas celebration. So if you have more, please feel free to add them in the comments. I just wanted to give you a little insight about how Germans celebrate this wonderful day that is called Christmas and I hope you enjoyed the video. I wish you all Merry Christmas and a beautiful, beautiful day. See you in the next video. Bye!